Uh, hello, it's Oliver Blair, and I'm going to um, just go through some more uh, tips on how to export a, a, your model into Indigo and get some um, some different light qualities and things and sort of be able to understand your model uh, through uh, light, which is basically how Indigo does it, because Indigo is a, a photorealistic um, renderer, so it and it's also unbiased at that, which means it, 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 it re it's pretty much as close to reality as you can get, sort of, by today's standards, I guess. So, so I'll just quickly, I'll just render that, what I've got here at the moment, and I'll go sh through and show you the different uh, time of day settings and see how they can be quite different. So that was I think 9 o'clock in the morning and then I'll do another one at um, so noon and so you can sort of see that the sky is a bit different. So I'll, I'll go to the the morning one, and then the night one. So so even the atmospherics are uh, uh, rendered differently. They're sort of more realistic, like how the actual Earth atmosphere would 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 look at that time of the day, and at that um, position on Earth as well that you can set up under model info. And you can sort of clear it and, and change your position with those buttons there. So, what if we want this concrete to be like super shiny, like a metal? Um, so, first of all, what you have to do is make sure that the material is selected in SketchUp in the um, in the material editor. So, you, to do that, you can press B to get the paint bucket and hold down Alt on a PC, and I think it's the same on a Mac, Alt or Command, so, and then you can sort of uh, pick a paint picker which material is, so that's just default, it's nothing, and this is that, that plywood material, and then you go up to this, uh, I guess it's a paint bucket, or a drum or something, icon on the, in the Skindigo toolbar, click on that, and this skin to go material editor will come up and it will it will select whichever one that you had selected with and then um, there's also a drop down of all the materials in here as well so we'll keep it on this one and then generally it's a good idea to just uh, choose a preset to begin with to get your head around what it's actually changing so there's all these different presets that are rendered out, so maybe we want something like a mirror or a gold or something, so maybe we'll try a mirror. So you can see that it's changed a lot of different settings, it's changed the material type and changed the IOR and all those sort of things as well to get this effect which hopefully will work. I haven't actually tested it but we'll see what it looks like. I'll just click render again. And whoa, there's nothing actually there. Oh no, wait, it's a mirror. So it's perfectly reflecting that opening. So that's cool. So then what happens if we change the IOR to to 10? I think that's index order of reflection. So it changes how shiny the material is. And so because we haven't changed any geometry, in the model, we've only changed a skin to go material option. You can actually just hit this button here, quick export. So what that does, it just uses the old model, but updates the materials. So it's really good if you've got a really complex model with like heaps of stuff going on. It takes like you know two minutes to export each time, but you're at that level where you just want to change the materials. You can just hit that quick export and and see what happens and so it, you 
can work a lot quickly, a lot quicker. Oh, so that didn't really change anything. T from 20 to 10 didn't actually change anything. What does just like 0 do? Or 1, sorry. It's just sort of not even there now. That's weird. So maybe I'll choose another preset. Something that's not so shiny. Maybe something like this guy. Cow paint. So let's change it from a specular to a fong. So if you want to figure it out, you can sort of Google all these terms. But they're kind of um, industry standard terms, I guess, for uh, computer generated three-dimensional stuff and gaming technology as well. So Fong is just uh, shiny but not reflective I don't think. And Specular is reflective I think. I'm probably wrong about that. Or one can be transparent as well or something like that. So there we go. It's sort of reflecting a wee bit or it's a wee bit shiny. But you can still see that texture. So it's a bit weird because it's concrete. But if it was like a <coughs> like a, a lacquer or a, like a varnished plywood or something, then that would work really well. I guess if this was sort of buffed concrete on the on the ground, then that would work really well as well. So maybe we'll try that. We'll leave that like that. Or no, actually I'll change it to just diffuse again. And I'll make another material using the SketchUp material editor and call it floor. And use a different image. Just a sort of flat flat one, yeah. Well oh, that sort of looks a bit alright. I guess it's a weird stripey So to change the orientation of the material, you can actually do it on a per face basis as well. So see how it's actually lining up with the axes of the model? But it looks a bit weird. So what you can do is just click once on the face, um, right click on it and then click uh, texture position and it will come up with these kind of this tool. So you can sort of drag it around and also using this one sort of rotate it and scale it as well. So maybe I want it something like like that, sort of. Looks kind of lined up a bit better. But I think I want a bigger scale as well. So yeah, I'll leave it like that and then just hit enter. And then I can put it back on Fong, I guess, and then put this up to what happens if I do like four? We'll try that. And because I've altered the model, that is, I've put a new material on a face, I need to actually export the whole model again. So I use the proper render with Indigo icon. And hopefully that'll be shiny. There we go. So it's like concrete pool, super buffed and also you see all these little dots sometimes they clear up, sometimes they don't but it's, it's to do with the bounce and that is like so there's, there's light coming in here and it's bouncing off this reflective material and it's bouncing up onto, onto here I think it's because it's too shiny or something that's doing that. But anyway, that's sort of how you, you have a reflective material.